Geosynthetics is a broad term that describes plastic-derived products that are used to interface with rock and soil surfaces. Geosynthetics have become a widely used technology in geotechnical, geoenvironmental, and other civil engineering projects. They are manufactured in various shapes, sizes, colors, and thicknesses. However, they are generally subdivided into eight distinct categories. Geotextiles, geogrids, geonets, geomembranes, geosynthetic clay liners, geopipe, geofoam, and geocomposites, which are the combination of two or more of these geosynthetics. This video will introduce the general concepts of some of the more common applications of geosynthetics. Geotextiles may be used for water filtration, erosion protection, or soil reinforcement. Geotextiles may be non-woven or woven. Non-woven geotextiles closely resemble the texture of felt and are commonly used in filtration systems. They allow for drainage of water while trapping sediment. They can be installed beneath parking lots, foundations, or in landscaping projects. Woven geotextiles are manufactured from intertwined fiber filaments to create a blanket-like material and are commonly used in soil stabilization. In this demonstration, two model reinforced earth walls were constructed, one with and one without reinforcement. The inclusion of reinforcement prevents the failure of the wall and even withstands a surcharge placed behind the wall. Geogrids provide a similar function with the added benefit of aggregate interlock for coarse grain materials. Geotextiles can also be used for erosion control. Where turbulent waters may erode stream banks, geotextiles may be installed to dissipate the energy and to prevent excessive sediment buildup in waters, which is detrimental to downstream ecology. Landfills are highly engineered structures that include several types of geosynthetics, such as geotextiles, geonets, geocomposite drains, geomembranes, and geosynthetic clay liners. Geomembranes are used in landfill liners and covers for their low permeability to prevent the leakage of contaminated water or leachate. They are typically one half to three millimeters thick and may be textured to provide increased friction resistance. To cover large areas with geomembrane, Individual sheets are unrolled and welded together at overlapping seams, forming large, impermeable liner systems. We have just seen some of the more common applications of geosynthetics, but there are many more engineering projects where geosynthetics are particularly suited to the job. Next time you look at an engineering project, try to locate where geosynthetics might have been used.